Do you know what are those India specific risk assessments which global frameworks fail to capture? I think those kind of nuances yeah. and diversities are very yeah. difficult to get in. Yeah. I want but to come to fact, my. Fact, I'll, I'll tell you one one example of something that people do, which which is yes, very sir. is going to become uh, more important in India. So people actually are putting in guardrails, right? So they're saying that uh, you can't uh, ask uh, these kinds of questions to the LLM or the LLM should not give this kinds of answers. Those kind of guardrails people are putting, and more often than not, they are tested rigorously for English language attacks. Yes. What people are finding increasingly is that, you know, when these uh, models are actually being exposed to languages other than English in their training, because they're just basically taking everything from the internet and training. Right. So if you use a less representative language, you are able to break these guardrails easily, even though you have tested it for English. And so in India, I, I take an LLM, I take a Llama model, and start talking to it in uh, you know Bhojpuri or something. I can potentially, yeah. I can potentially break the guardrails that have been put in place for uh, more. More should Hindi and uh, and 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 uh, English. And I can potentially break the guardrails. So this is something very India specific. So for, because <laughs> the, you don't know what dialect the person is going to come and speak, and you might actually break yeah. the all the guardrails because of this. So these are new risks.